My guest at this time is the EST of WWE. She is the Raw Women's Champion, and she's going to take on Carmella tomorrow night at Money in the Bank. It is Bianca Belair. Bianca, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Thank you for having me. Um, before we get into Money in the Bank and everything going on with you, uh, we are here at the Three Square Food Bank, and it has been a really fun morning watching you. Uh, three oranges, three apples, wrapping up with the kids. What's it like for you to get to be in a position like this, give back, and like really interact with those kids that you know you're you're really having an effect on their lives? I mean, this is what it's all about. I mean, I get to defend my title tomorrow at Money in the Bank in front of thousands of people, but when I get to come in a day or two early and get to really be you know not just a hero in the ring but a hero in the community that's what it's all about so it was it's been amazing today yeah absolutely uh well of course on the precipice of money in the bank tomorrow big title defense against carmella uh how are you feeling i feel like a lot of people are looking past carmella they seem to just be giving it to yeah. you already bianca no, listen, Carmella, I don't under underestimate Carmella. Every time I turn my back on her, she's always trying to get me. But no, Carmella, her resume speaks for herself. It really does. Sure. I mean, she's a former Money in the Bank winner. She's a, a women's champion. She's a former tag team women's champion. So I don't underestimate Carmella. That's how you get caught. That's how you get caught slipping. I got caught slipping last time I was in Vegas. So that's not happening this time. I'm not looking past Carmella. It's going to be a, a, a good title match tomorrow. But I will say I am going to walk out with this tomorrow well uh there's a lot of women that are gonna be vying for a briefcase that if they get it could be cashing in on you at any mm -hmm. given moment now there's familiar people obviously a lot of history with becky lynch right mm -hmm. but you got Liv morgan in the mix you got raquel rodriguez in the mix uh of, of the women that are in that match this year is there one that you would prefer win <laughs> is there somebody you're like man i hope they get it because i would really like to be able to finally have a match with that person or get my hands on them one more time I mean, I can't say there's anybody that I would prefer to win. I mean, because they could be coming after my title. But I will say, um, I think one of the, the the fan favorites, too, is Liv Morgan. We, I know. We saw her last year try to almost get that briefcase multiple times. And, you know, she's one of the fastest rising stars in WWE. So I think it's her, it's her time. And, and I love to see someone rise to the occasion. You have Becky Lynch there who has, I have a lot of history with her, which I know she would love to get the briefcase. Yeah, I mean, you, you two are like Brock and Roman. You just can't stay in your separate corners, it feels like. It, it seems that way. Yeah. It seems that way. It's like we're just kind of made for each other in a bad and good way. We, we have great matches, but I just, like, this is mine, Becky. This is mine. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the thing is like you guys stole the show at WrestleMania. <laughs> I was there fortunately live and I thought you guys just had a, a banger this year. You know, um, you know, your, uh, uh, you know, your significant other uh, is going to be in line for a title match of his own tomorrow. The Usos putting the SmackDown tag titles on the line against uh, the Street Profits. Uh, how cool would it be for you to have all the gold in the family? How ex of course, of course, cross brands, too, you know? Yes, but. Listen, we've never been able to both have gold at the same time. That's why I asked. So yeah. this is going to be unprecedented. So I'm I'm all excited for it. Uh, the, the stakes are high. The pressure's there. I'm going to keep my title. So now it's up to him. He has to get the gold. He has to bring the gold home so we can have gold in the house. Well, and, you know, the bloodline has a lot of gold. Exactly. Like, maybe too much gold, <laughs> you know. Some people might say. But they have a lot of gold, right? Now, for you, you've only got the one gold. Roman's got two. The Usos got two. Looking across the alley, or looking across the aisle, I should say, you got Natalia and Ronda Rousey tomorrow night. Uh, SummerSlam, does a unification match for the titles interest you? Would you like to hold the gold like two, be uh, two belt Becky did? I mean, listen, I have a lot on my resume right now in a very short amount of time. So <laughs> that's another thing I can add to the resume. I would like to have two golds on both shoulders. I mean, gold is my favorite color, so. There you go, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I also wanted to ask you while I had you, you know, you posted these uh, Instagram stories that got a lot of people worried the other day. I think uh, Montez may have commented on this earlier today about the fan interaction. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's really unfortunate that that stuff happens. You know, you talked a little bit about it on Instagram, but I mean, like, what, I mean, what do you want to say to people out there that kind of, you know, infringe upon your space when you're least suspecting on it you know i mean i love my fans i love my fans um i love all the love and all the support that they give me i try to stay behind and sign as many autographs and take as many pictures as possible but when we're outside of the the the, the wwe wrestling space or, or at nighttime especially i know it may seem like it's fun all in the in the in the game of name of fun um but there's boundaries and i want you guys to be safe and i want to be safe at the same time too so sometimes i'm traveling alone sometimes I'm with my husband, sometimes I'm with my kids, so we just have to have boundaries to keep everyone safe. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, lastly here, uh, I'll take it home with a question one of my writers wanted to ask you. We've seen a lot of 
uh, the main roster stars, not a lot, but a few, return back to NXT, get a hero's welcome, get to work with some of the younger talent. Obviously, there's a lot of great talent down in NXT right now. You have a lot of history down in NXT as well. Would you like to go back to NXT, make an appearance, work with anybody down there? Yeah, I mean, I started in NXT. I mean, that, that was my home. I'm a homegrown talent. That's where I learned everything. So I yeah. always love to go and give back. I think what, what Natalia did when she went back to NXT was amazing. No She's kidding. a legend in the game, and she always has so much, you know, love and, and so many gems to give. So I would love to be able to go back and, and give back to NXT and step in the ring with them and get a little, you know, homecoming welcome and step in the rings with some of the new talent. That, that would be fun. Have you seen Triple H since he came back yet? I heard he was down at NXT the other day. I I seen him uh, at WrestleMania. Oh, that was last time? Okay, well, yeah. okay, awesome. Yeah, it's just great to see him back in the mix. Yeah, absolutely. All right, hey, Bianca, I want to thank you so much for the time. Best of luck tomorrow night in your title defense. And, uh, and that's it, I got it. That's end of, end of interview. Is that bad? No, that's not the end of it. That's, that's just how you got to end it. <laughs> just like I'm going to walk out a Money in the Bank as Raw's champion. And we're going to end it on that note. There we go. <laughs>